Today we're going to be putting some of the very best icons ever to have played in England up against some of the finest icons that have ever played in Spain. They'll be competing against each other computer versus computer, home and away, and we'll then be taking a look at how the two teams perform in a simulated season within career mode. Casillas is the only player I've included that doesn't yet have icon status in FIFA, and the reason for his inclusion here is that there are currently only five icon goalkeepers and none of them ever played in Spain. Casillas is definitely an absolute legend of Spanish football though, and as he retired a few months back, he may even be added to the game as an icon in FIFA 21. Now though, when it came to selecting the two teams, I'm not going to lie, I changed my mind on numerous occasions and both teams could have looked pretty different. I wasn't sure whether or not to include Maradona in La Liga's starting 11 for instance, as he spent most of his peak in Italy. He did win a few trophies in Spain though, and in the end, I decided to include him in the starting 11. And it was a similar sort of story with Ruud Hullet, although with him, I decided not to include him. He did spend a few seasons with Chelsea, it was right at the end of his career though, and starting him would have meant leaving out a player that contributed a lot more to the league, so he's in the squad, he's just not starting. Frank Lampard being on the bench is probably going to be quite a controversial one too, and also originally I had Drogba starting up front alongside Thierry Henry, I couldn't leave out the Premier League's top scorer of all time though, so in the end, Alan Shearer just had to make the final cut. It didn't feel right not having him in the starting 11. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section anyway though. What would you have done differently with these two teams? I do read absolutely every single comment, so if you do leave any feedback for me, it will be seen, and I'll be posting a follow-up video soon with the winners taking on a team of Serie A icons. So if you do leave me any advice or feedback, then it may well be taken on board in the very next video. So stick around and subscribe if you're interested in seeing that one. Smash the like button if you do go on to enjoy this today. Let's get into the gameplay though, and may the best team win. Vieira working his way through the middle, and Makaleli has gone absolutely flying there. He's been completely done by Vieira. He's working it forward still. What can he do here? He's going to cross that one over to the back post. And the defenders dealt with it. Corner kick to come now then. I thought they were going to play that one short, but Casillas has punched it clear. They got control of it once again though. Gerard's on it. Now he's gone for it. And that's a big stop from Casillas. So there's quite a bit of action in the first five minutes or so. After that though, things got pretty quiet. And there weren't really any more highlights whatsoever in that first half. It was pretty bland. Let's get into the second half though, and hopefully it'll be a bit better. Free kick to come now then, massive run up from Steven Gerrard, he delivers it to Drogba, and I thought he was going to have an instant impact there, he's only just come on as a sub, and he's getting himself involved already. Drogba with another chance, and I definitely thought he was going to score that one. He's made a massive difference since he came on, instantly the Premier League icons are looking so much more lively, and they're unfortunate not to be ahead. Throw in to come now then, they move that into Maradona, he plays it forward to R9. Who moves it back to Maradona, takes a shot, good save from Schmeichel. And how has Zidane not scored there? He's hit the post, so unlucky. Brilliant passing football here from the Premier League's finest. Nice little back heel there to find Giggs. He plays it across to Drogba, great bit of control. Now what can he do with this one? Looking for support, plays it forward to Thierry Henry. And what a save that is from Casillas. Corner kick to come now then. They play that one short to Ryan Giggs. He's working it to the edge of the box. Crosses that one over to Vieira, drops for Henry. And he's found the back of the net. It's 1-0 to the Premier League icons. Ryan Giggs with the delivery. Vieira nods it forward. Thierry Henry is lurking and he finds the back of the net. Fantastic positioning. Not Megs Casillas. And it's 1-0. Free kick to come now then. Giggs leaves it for Thierry Henry who goes for it. And that is one of the best free kicks I've ever seen. Casillas had no chance there whatsoever. He scored once again. And it's now 2-0 to the Premier League icons. What a hit from Thierry Henry, look at that, perfect free kick, you're not going to stop that one. And the Premier League icons now have a two goal advantage heading into the second leg. Still got 90 more minutes to come though, La Liga's finest could still turn it around, so let's get into it and let's see what happens in the second leg. The Premier League icons have played themselves into trouble at the back here, and I thought Ronaldinho was going to score for a second there. Absolute confusion at the back, but they couldn't quite take advantage. Makaleli's on the ball, takes it past his man, moves it forward to R9, plays it back to Makaleli, and that's a big stop from Peter Schmeichel. Thierry Henry working it down the wing, shrugs off his man, takes it past him, plays that across to Vieira. Big block there. They might get another chance here. It's going to drop for Thierry Henry. No, it doesn't. Not quite. Big go with the throw in, moves that to Zidane, up 
up against Ryan Giggs, takes it past Desai and Giggs in fact, crosses it over, drops it for R9 Ronaldo, he finds the back of the net, he's not going to miss from there, they're only one goal behind now and it's game on. Let's take another look at this one on the replay, sit down with the delivery, George Best tried to head it clear, does his best to get rid of it, doesn't work out for him though. R9 Ronaldo's on it, just has to get it on target, and he does. So the Premier League icons still have the lead. It's only a one goal advantage at this point though, and we've still got 45 more minutes to come. So let's get into the second half, and let's see if La Liga's finest can turn this one around. Fantastic passing football here. Shearer to Best, who plays it to Gerrard. Back to Best. What can he do here? He can foul his man. That's what he can do here. He is from a different era, though, to be fair. He probably would have got away with that one back in the day. Some of the passing on display in this game has been absolutely exquisite. Maradona plays that to Zidane. He plays it to Cruyff. He moves it back to Maradona. He plays it out wide and straight after me praising the passing. That one was a little bit wayward. The Premier League icons have played themselves into trouble here, though. Cruyff's got hold of it. And he probably should have scored there. Big stop from Schmeichel, but Cruyff probably should have leveled it up there. Giggs with the ball out wide, taking on Cannavaro. Takes it past him. Nice little turn. Crosses that one over to Thierry Henry. I don't know how he got another chance of that, but he did. It's now 3-1 on aggregate. There's only 15 more minutes to play. And I definitely can't see La Liga's icons getting back into this one now. Maradona plays it to R9. He moves it out wide to Rivaldo, who crosses it over to Cruyff. And I thought that was going to be another goal. Coming towards the end of the match now then. And Overmars has got it out wide. Delivers that to the back post to Drogba. If the game wasn't already over, it definitely is now. Emphatic finish from Didier Drogba. Fourth goal for the Premier League icons. And that is the victory in the bag. I thought this one was going to be a lot closer, if I'm honest, but nope, the Premier League icons have absolutely ran away with it. We do still have the simulated seasons come, though, so let's get into it and let's see if the Premier League icons once again dominate or if La Liga's finest can come out on top this time and see about restoring some pride. Right then, so I've sent forward to the start of January and as it stands, the Premier League icons have got a perfect record. They've won all 20 matches that they've played. They've picked up 60 points and La Liga's icons are six points behind them. They've won 18 themselves, so they're not doing too badly. They have lost two, though, and hence the six-point difference. Thierry Henry is the top scorer for the Premier League icons so far, and he's also provided the most assists. For La Liga's icons, meanwhile, it's Cruyff with the most goals, and R9 Ronaldo with the most assists. Also, I put both teams into the Champions League just to see how they'd get on, and Manchester United came pretty close to picking up a perfect record. In the final group game, though, they drew with Olympiacos, and therefore they only picked up 16 points. I say they only picked up 16 points. It's still pretty impressive. La Liga's icons, meanwhile, did win all of their group games, and they're heading through to the next round along with Borussia Dortmund. With the Premier League icons taking on Dortmund in the very next round, whilst La Liga's icons will be up against Napoli. Anyway, though, let's send forward to the end of the season, and let's see how things are looking by June. By the end of the season, both teams have picked up over 100 points, and as you can see on the right, La Liga's finest did actually beat the Premier League icons back in January. Unfortunately for them, though, it was the only game that they lost all season. They won 37 of their 38 matches, picking up 111 points in the process, and they finished five points above the icons from La Liga. So just as in the computer versus computer gameplay, the Premier League icons have once again come out on top. Thierry Henry was the top scorer for the Premier League icons with 30 goals in 38 appearances, and he also provided the joint most assists. For La Liga's finest, meanwhile, Cruyff scored 37 goals in 38 appearances, whilst R9 Ronaldo provided the most assists with 18. And La Liga's icons might not have won the league, but they did knock the Premier League icons out of the FA Cup at the quarter-final stage, went on to beat Everton in the semis, and defeated Manchester City 2-0 in the final. And they also met at the quarter-final stage of the Carabao Cup too. This time, though, it was the Premier League icons that came out on top just about. They defeated La Liga's icons in a penalty shootout 5-4. They then went on to absolutely destroy Watford 7-1 in the semi-finals, and in the final, they defeated Liverpool. In the Champions League, meanwhile, they both won 6-1 on aggregate at around a 16, both progressed from the quarter-final stage, avoided each other in the semis, and in the final, it was La Liga's finest that came out on top, so they might not have won the Premier League, 
but they did win the FA Cup and the Champions League, so it's not like they got absolutely destroyed at every opportunity, and they did in fact do pretty well for themselves. Anyway though, thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, leave it a like if you have done, stick around and subscribe if you're not already doing so, stay safe, and I'll catch you again next time.